Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Monday, May 1st, 2017. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Knights of Malta elected an interim leader Saturday, Fra Giacomo Dalla Torre, previously Grand Prior of the Rome Chapter. He'll lead for a period of one year, after which a permanent Grand Master will be elected. The liberal German faction is expecting Dalla Torre to cooperate with its reforms that would cut the power of the Grand Master while increasing the power of the Grand Chancellor, who reports claim wishes to abolish the ancient mission of the order and turn it into a secular NGO. The order has been racked with internal strife and turmoil, with the heterodox and orthodox factions battling over the future of the Knights of Malta. Read our full report at churchmilitant.com. A leaked document sent to Church Militant last week shows Cardinal Raymond Burke lamenting over the current state of the Knights of Malta, referring to the reinstatement of the Grand Chancellor, caught permitting condom distribution in third world countries. Burke, spiritual patron of the order, said, quote, I find it profoundly saddening that the grave scandal of the distribution of contraceptives and the advancing secularization of the order, which this immoral action represents, are now minimized and effectively forgotten. The main person fighting internal corruption was Grandmaster Fra Matthew Festing, asked to resign by Pope Francis in January. President Trump has picked pro-life leader Dr. Charmaine Yost for Public Affairs Secretary for Health and Human Services. Yost is the former CEO of Americans United for Life. The HHS has a large say in U.S. health care policy, including the birth control mandate, enacted under President Obama and previous HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius, a pro-abortion Catholic. Yost has been an outspoken critic of the HHS contraceptive mandate. A religious order in Belgium has approved euthanasia in its Catholic hospitals. In a surprise move Tuesday, the board controlling psychiatric institutions of the Brothers of Charity announced that from now on, it will allow terminally ill patients to be deliberately killed. The hospital justified its decision based on patients' requests to end what they see as hopeless suffering. The board denies the decision contradicts church teaching, although it admits it's on a, quote, different wavelength from Rome. A Catholic chapel in New York used as a temporary command center after the 9-11 attacks may soon be closing. Just two blocks from the World Trade Center and just outside the rubble zone, St. Joseph's Chapel housed emergency workers after the Muslim attacks of 2011. But rent in the area has since tripled because of development, and the archdiocese may not have enough money to cover it. The New York archdiocese recently had to secure a $100 million mortgage on one of its properties in order to pay off sex abuse claims. I'm Christine Niles, those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about a heretical bishop poster boy. And check out the download. The panel discusses Catholicism versus communism. Please share headlines with your friends, see us on Facebook and Twitter, and may God bless you.